Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaya making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's going to be a UFC champion, and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaya is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling. He has great striking. He has great cardio. The guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Hamzat Shimai has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. one just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, Hamzat Shimaev is back as this round gets underway. Undefeated fighter who has officially taken this sport by storm. His fight against Gilbert Burns back at UFC 273 probably is going to end up in the Hall of Fame. But Hamzat didn't want to talk about that this week at all. He wants a quick night at the office. He wants to get a finish and actually said he believes it's going to materialize on the feet and not the ground. We shall see. Nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Chimaya. First takedown attempt for the wrestler here, and he's able to get the more well-rounded fighter to the ground. So the striker gets a little bit off balance and pays the ultimate price. But well, we know this is where this guy wants to be. Now, his opponent is a very good grappler, but this is his rule house. This is where he makes his money, and if he's on the ground on top, he is exactly where he wants to be. Chimaya's in half guard. Oh, now he's attacking North Triangle. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. 
Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Counters once again, this time with the overhand right. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Now goes to the uppercut. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Shimaev's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Oh, double jab splits the guard. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Whitaker. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Side control now. Mm, nice. I need you to be active on the All right, he's got him now. in the north side. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dars. That Dars choke is tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. He's got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. All right, so the storyline in this one has been Hamzat Shimaev, of the wrestling and the grappling. A lot of people felt like he could win a fight on the feet tonight, but taking the path of least resistance. We have seen him win with his striking, but it always looks easier whenever he's taking his opponent down. We think of Kevin Holland, a good fighter himself, that Hamzat made look like a novice. When he can use the wrestling, when he's finding success in that realm, he's very difficult to deal with, and one of the best fighters in two weight classes in the UFC. Whitaker gets lit up by that straight punch. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling out on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Another big thing. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. And he's back up. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice kick landed there by Hamzat Shimai. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal. Something good for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Round two next. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques constantly, changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go for. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Ronald Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to stand up in the boxing. And that is a full display right now. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one 
is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling started. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Huge knee lands from close. Now they separate. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Yep, and he's got him secured in a half guard now. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, he caught out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight holding one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some sub submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've got to move, you've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Shemaev's in half court. One minute. Paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in and largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown. Oh, I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot get him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swelling. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. 
Well, the jab counter came for half a picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. There's a takedown attempt. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. This is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured. I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's gonna work hard to get this finish. I need you to get a hand inside. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Whitaker's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Big ground and pound. Shimaev's back inside control. Keep that top Under three minutes now to go in the round. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. The takedown is not there. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that point, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Whitaker gets back up. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Whitaker's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Beautiful little hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Shemayev's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Now he's going full mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Final seconds of round three. Making all these shots count. Uh, and that'll do it. 15 uh, minutes in the books.
right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Punch over the top. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, shoots for the double leg takedown. Look to be a good entry, unable to finish the job. Big shot to the head. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Straight punch is true. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, my goodness. That dart choke is very tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight, IQ. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, to the mouth. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Use your elbow, use your elbow. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, that's the floor the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, and this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice level team. Oh, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Chimaya. Looking for the arm triangle. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Finish that head Naruto. He's going to work hard to try to get the finish. He gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Shimaev's really taking aim at that. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toe. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already. And, D.C., I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Whitaker gets back up again. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. 
she might have gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice jab. Freeze. Went for the inside leg kick. Whitaker's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. And now some separation. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again, and why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean, and now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Chimaya. Checks that leg kick. Whitaker's really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, nice. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. He passes to half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mop. Yep, got to be very careful there. Good work from the top here by Hamza Chimaya. Got to be careful, Omar. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Robert Whitaker. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Straight right, he misses. Whitaker's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Connected with a solid strike there. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Nice jab by Whitaker. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Got his guard pass. Whitaker gets up. He is back on the feet here. Got that right hand through on that one. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Oh, beautifully placed with the oh, snap his head back with that offering. DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. That one landed clean. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Another big kick now. Oh, 
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Whitaker. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, north-south position here. Shimaev's trying for a submission here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Robert Whittaker. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running a guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. 30 seconds to go now. A series of punches from the top here by Whitaker. Close guard. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. All oh, hard as he gets back to his feet. Late in this final round, we'll see if he can rally. Let's see if he can rally. It's gonna be difficult, but hey, he's got a chance, and that's all you can ask for. Whitaker's, oh, and there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, Ladies the official decision is now in. Here is rounds, Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Hobbs and Borz Chimaev! All right, so you heard it there from Buff. Hamza at Chimaev gets it done on the scorecards. He's your winner by decision tonight, and in large part because he wasn't going to force the finish. No, he wasn't going to force the finish. He wasn't going to put himself in bad position. He was okay with however the fight ended, whether it be a finish or a decision. The guy's in fantastic shape.